Captain Town read like this in goal is Paul White, number six is uh, Michael Rutchen, seven Lyndon Meekle, eight is Aaron O'Connor, nine is uh, Dan uh, Holman, eleven Reese Honus, twelve Dion Kelly Evans, fourteen Marcus Kelly, fifteen Declan Towers, nineteen Craig Stanley, and twenty Adam Cunnington. The sub today three Ben Tosland, four Brett Salkin, five Gary Storer, ten Ben Mills, and eighteen Lathaniel. Row Turner, Russell Olympic read like this one is Matthew Sargent, two is Tyler Little, three AJ Adikan, four is Lee Smith, five Joseph Hull, six Orin Penley returning to Latimer Park, six and captain uh, six is, uh, sorry, seven is Simon May, he's the captain, eight Brian Schmeichel, nine Messiah McDonald, ten Daniel O'Callaghan, and eleven Daniel, Daniel Waldron, their leading goal scorer. Paul White kicks long, Cunnington the target, Cunnington goes underneath it but uh, they've gone through, Aaron O'Connor goes down under challenge, he's back up again though, bit of a heavy touch by McDonald allows Richards to nod it back to Marcus Kelly playing in that left back position that he's starting to make his own this season. Now he's bursting forward. Marcus Kelly on the left-hand side in front of the away dugout. Plays into O'Connor. Takes a bobble. O'Connor manages to get it back to Kelly. Kelly to Holman. Back to Kelly again. Triangles being played here. Kelly, step over. Pops it to O'Connor. O'Connor plays it back to Meikle. Meikle traps it. Goes past his player. And he's got a bit of space to work with here. Lyndon Meikle. Ball in. Cunnington's there. Oh, it's headed up. And the keeper comes out. Oh, punches it and misses it. And Holman can't bring it under. And it will be cleared away, is it, by the number seven? Simon May it is only as far as Richens who goes out to his right. Kelly Evans gets there, wins the header. Honus flicks it on. Ketrin wanting a free kick and the clearance has come off Kelly Evans and he's still kept it in play. Lays it to O'Connor on the edge of the box. Good touch from him. Tries to go through the player. Can't and then is hauled to the ground by the Russell Olympic player. Well... What a start for Kettering. Let's try and dissect some of that, Paul Cook. Yes, it's been uh, quite impressive there as O'Connor went flying down. It's a good position for Kettering. Kettering do look up for this. It's uh, a good crowd. The fans now are behind the tin hat. It's uh, We don't know what the attendance is. We'll bring that later. But yes, very positive start from the Poppers. Let's just talk about Matthew Sargent there, though. I mean, it was wonderful play from Kettering on this near side. And the header went up, and, and the goalkeeper punched it. Well, he almost at dropped chest it, height. He? he did, yes. It he, was. He could have he could have caught it sensibly, and he's he's punched it at chest height, and he's not jumped. It's uh, bizarre with that one. And uh, if Holman had managed to get the ball under control on the bobbly surface, he's got a free shot at goal. But this could be an effort here. Marcus Kelly on the left hand side, left footed, swinging in. Holman's there. Oh, the goalkeeper stops it. Scramble. O'Connor. No. Oh, it's there. Kettering have got an early lead. And O'Connor's the man to bring it. A wonderful ball in from Marcus Kelly caused all kinds of confusion in the goal mouth. I think the first header came from Holman or a defender. I'm not sure. The keeper then, I think, pulled off a ridiculously good save. Um, but the ball popped up into the air. Bit of a scramble. And O'Connor was there to nod it in despite the despairing jump of the Russell Olympic defender on the line. It won't matter to O'Connor. He gets another goal. It's Ketchum Town 1, Russell Olympic Hill, and we have had three and a half minutes of this game. Now, Paul White needs to uh, be alert here. He's got his wall of four sorted out. It's uh, referee's bonus whistle. In it comes down towards ball. It's done well there. Open chance here for Russell. And oh, missed safe. really uh, an open goal. It came off Stanley on the line and has gone for a corner. In it comes low. And uh, Paul White dives. Uh, Let's it go by with ease. A low shot, Paul White's uh, right hand side. And Kelly gets the ball towards uh, Cunnington in the middle. Cunnington's pushed in the back. Nothing by the referee and a kicked on now. Can Honus get there? It's a one on one with the goalkeeper. Goalkeeper comes out, misses it. Over the head if he can get there. Out it comes here though. And the goalkeeper somehow gets back and catches the ball. Looks a bit suspect. Holman though intercepts. Tries the ball towards Honus. Honus now again, he's on one on one, a header this time. And the goalkeeper manages to keep it in before going for a corner, but makes a hash of that as well. Kelly, corner, swinging, inwards, in it comes. Header away by the number two, only to Honus, who's got loads of space, takes a couple of touches, needs to release it, Reese Honus, still going forward, cuts the ball back across goal. Oh, good block as O'Connor tried to put it in. Comes back out to Kelly, Kelly to the edge of the box to the Holman. Holman can't get out of his feet, left footed, tries to loft it in. Half handball shout's never going to be given. 
Here's McDonald plays a faint, deft uh, pass, but cut out by Stanley. And Stanley uh, finds O'Connor, keeps it in. Holman flicks it through towards Honus. Honus now back to Holman. Holman flicks the ball through. It's a chase between Penley and Honus. Penley uh, puts it out wide, flicks it. Holman intercepts. Holman, though, he's now got a chance here. Holman coming through, flicks it through here towards Cunnington. Cunnington on side. Oh, Cunnington hit it, and a very good save there from Sargent. Lofted ball over to Tyler Little. Little now on the right-hand side. Kelly's there on his touch. Gets something in the way of it. Honus is there as well. Now it's back to the four. Lee Smith. Lee Smith, will he shoot? No, he plays a lovely ball through. And that's a shot. And it's dragged wide by Daniel Waldron. Cut out, though. Richardson has to come in. But away come uh, Russell. Interception now. There's a chase on here for Waldron. And Towers gets there first. And gets the ball out of play. No, he doesn't. It comes off Waldron. And that's going to be a free kick right on the edge of the penalty area on the far side. One more stride and that would have been a penalty. Two in the wall for Ketrin. Free kick comes in high. Uh, it's high and wide and a poor effort really. 32 minutes gone here at the Latimer Park. It is uh, Tamworth nil, Stourbridge nil, Royston 1, Colville nil. Biggles Wade now 1-1 one, one with uh, Oh, chance! Oh, it's in! And uh, while I was giving the scores out there, a lofted shot beats Paul White. And uh, the scores are level. Well, it was direct from a long throw-in. I mean, we say very often that it's near impossible to score from these long throw-ins, but the ball was launched in and the rush all man was left all by himself headed the ball up and over. Paul White at full stretch, could get nowhere near it. Kelly. Kelly, a long ball towards Cunnington. Cunnington uh, wins the header, can't get it to O'Connor though. And that's, uh, they're all over Cunnington, They've got a kick on the head in the process. The referee has given a foul by Cunnington on, uh, on Hull. It's not an easy game to watch, is it? It's, I find this very frustrating kind of football, although it's very good kind of football, but uh, Paul White gets the ball underway. Cunnington goes down and he's given it away again. Unbelievably, this referee is an absolute clown. Cunnington goes down again. The referee gives it the other way. There's a melee now of players. Richens is having a word along with O'Connor. Been told, being waved away. Cunnington is uh, having to go over to listen to what the referee's opinion is. But incredible to Kelly Evans to Richards in the centre of park sprays it out left along the halfway line to Marcus Kelly who goes into the Russell Olympic half plays it forward to Honus Honus goes all the way back into his own half for Stanley to pick up bit of a heavy touch from Stanley but manages to square it to Towers still in the catch and half and then goes long and looking for the run of O'Connor it's not a bad ball and the keeper just gets there before O'Connor can get something on it Messiah McDonald coming off and Benjamin Lund the man coming on Catherine making their substitution it's going to be uh, Ben Milnes coming on for Adam Cunnington who had another good game I thought in that first half yeah it's frustrating for him frustrating it was a frustrating him. game and Ben Milnes is going to be replacing him heavy to Holman to Meikle back to Holman intercepted by May balls put back to uh, Sargent <laughs> And, uh, well, what have we here? What, how bizarre is that? The player's just knocked it back to the goalkeeper and the goalkeeper's picked it up. And uh, Richards is in the wall as well, trying to obscure it. In it comes, there's a little <laughs> faint there. In it comes now, it's ricocheted off. Oh. And uh, on the line, it's caught by the diving goalkeeper, Sergeant. Well, Defensively, anyway. Uh, Going to be a corner for Russell. Little pumps the ball in the high. Headed out by uh, Declan Towers. It goes back to Little of the, pen of the corner taker. He comes inside now. Tries a long range shot. Comes in here. And uh, that goes just by Paul White. Uh, but it's going to be a free kick to be taken by Little inside. Just on the edge of the centre circle in Ketrin's half in the centre. In it comes low. So the number seven fires a snap shot. Paul White dives, catches. And Ketrin get the ball back again. This time it's with. Towers, Towers out to Meikle, that's a slow ball but it gets there and Meikle's driving down into the penalty area now, twisting, turning, right foot, still going for trips over 
Not cleared and Holman's there. Across go! Oh, Connor at the back post. A despairing dive. Couldn't get there. And O'Connor's livid saying it's a corner. It's been given as a goal kick. Oh, chance, chance, chance for Ketrim. Mills back to Kelly. Very tight. Meikle with the ball. Meikle with his left foot puts it over towards Holman. Holman much more long range. It does, Holman. And that's straight at uh, Sargent. So Ketrin will make substitution now whilst the number three is tying the shoelaces up. So Meikle comes off and Sulkin comes on. Sulkin brings it down. Sulkin still going. Plays it to Milnes. Milnes has got a little bit of space to work with. Clips it towards the back post for O'Connor. There's too much on it. Oh, keeper collides with his own player and still holds it. Milnes places it up. Declan Towers goes forward and this ball will be pumped long into the box. Good shape on the ball in. Headed up. Sulkin volley. Pushed away by the goalkeeper. Headed back behind for a corner. Well, Sulkin tried a volley with his left foot. Pushed away at the front post by the goalkeeper then headed behind by a defender. And Ketron have a corner. Three minutes has been added on. I think it's worth saying it's a minimum of three minutes. Corner comes in. Headed away. Not where Ketron really wanted to do it. Kelly puts it through. O'Connor's on the right-hand side of the box now. Lofts it back over. Goalkeeper. Goal! Injury time does it again for Ketron. And it's Mr. Ketrick himself, Brett Sultan. What did we say about not turning off when it hits 90 minutes? Well, there you go. The corner came in. It was recycled by Marcus Kelly. O'Connor lobbed it to the back post. And Brett Sultan's there. Pinpoint range. Couldn't miss. Into the back of the net. And Ketrick a 2-1. Late, late drama again at Lapham Park. And yet again it goes Kettering's way. Kettering Town 2, Russell Olympic 1. <laughs> Kelly Evans throws long, flicked up into the air by Sulkin. Flicked up into the air by Sulkin, but well, oh, it's just out of play. O'Connor couldn't get there. And it's a throw in for Russell Olympic, which Pendley's going to take. There can't be much longer left of this game. Throw and taking long. Sulkin, header up into the air. There's another chance. But there's the full time whistle. Oh, and listen to that noise. Ketrin Town secure a 2 1 win, and we don't know whether it's finished, but the latest score we heard was Tamworth 1, Stourbridge 0.